So we're now going to look at the copy method within Carbon, which really is crucial to putting everything together that you've already learned in order to manipulate dates, uh, compare different things, just basically set everything up in the right way. And if you don't use the copy method, you're going to find yourself really, really stuck. And this is probably the cause of most problems. Uh, if you don't use the copy method, you'll probably get very confused. So we're going to start with an incorrect example of how we add a week onto a date and then maybe compare it, for example. So what we can do is go ahead and create a variable called C as we've been doing throughout. And let's just uh, set that to carbon now. So if we do a var dump on C, we'll get the current date and let's pay attention to what day we're on. So we're on the 15th of April. Now let's say we wanted to create a new variable and we can imagine for now that carbon now has come from a user submitted value or a generated value within our database. And we want to go ahead and add a week onto this, maybe to calculate the cost of something or, or anything else. So the usual way you would think about doing this would be to say C add week. So all we've done here is we've created the current date and time. We've created a new variable and we're setting that equal to C, but adding a week on. Well, let's take a look at var dumping C now and see what's happened. So remember, this is the carbon now static method and watch how this changes. You can see it's changed to 22 even though we're referencing carbon now. Well, what's happened here is the way that carbon works is because we've used this method, it has automatically updated this original variable here, this original value within carbon now. If we do C2, we get the same result because all we're doing here is we're adding a week onto C and then we're setting C to C2. So we're in a bit of a trouble here. If we wanted to compare this, so for example, if we wanted to say C is same day as C2, we know it's, uh, well, we could say add days two, for example. We know that adding two days onto the current day isn't going to be the same day. So if we go ahead and refresh, we get true, which is not right. Adding two days onto uh, the current date is not the same day. So what we need to do here is copy the original instance of carbon and then do something to it. So all we do here is instead of directly saying C add days to, we say C copy, which is going to return you a new or the same, in, the same uh, value of this, but a different instance of it. And then we can say add days to, and then we'll see false as we expect. So whenever you are taking an original value and you're manipulating it in some way, you need to use the copy method to do this. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. So that is a really useful method that's pretty much crucial to working with carbon beyond its very basic methods and just using them on their own.